everyone. I'll just let everybody gather before we start. We won't wait too, too long. If anybody catches or misses the um, live, it'll be posted later and they can catch it on the replay. I'll just finish getting everything together. I have Olivia on the camera and she'll let me know when We've got friends. What a gorgeous day. Wow. After all this rain we've had and cold, it was nice to see the sun sunshine today. It uh, helped when I was doing some running around today. I'll give it a few more minutes. I don't want to uh, keep the people that were on time waiting. I hung up. Jardins insurance. All right. I'd like to thank everyone for joining me this evening in Allison's amazing crazy kitchen, where if anything could possibly go wrong, it will. But you know what? That's the fun part. My daughter, she's going to kick me in the head right now because I have forgotten. I'm going to blame it on the concussion brain. What is my YouTube? What do you do on YouTube? You subscribe. Well, it's subscribe. Yes. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you get to see all the fun and the bloopers and catch the odd recipe or demo or two, um, subscribe. I always say the wrong word and get in trouble. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Allison's Amazing Crazy Kitchen. Right? Right. Okay. I said it right. So, I always start with the cheers. Uh, people didn't realize that this is our Panford Chef wine cup. So, I guess I need to point that out. Anyhow, I always start with the cheers. And then if I screw up, I can say I had too many cheers. All right. I have my laptop here so that if anybody's asking questions, I find there's a little bit of a delay. Um, if uh, it it's shows up on the, the phone. So what I do is I set up the laptop. So hopefully if you ask a question, I'm not three miles ahead and can um, answer in real time. So this is our cook blender. This thing is fantastic. We've got a little bit of time while the soup is preparing, so I will go over all the wonderful things it can do and what it does um, while the soup is cooking, um, so as not to make this uh, six hours long. Tonight, it's been requested that we use our cook blender, and Catherine would like us to try the broccoli cheddar soup. It's a favorite in our house, so we always, always oblige when people ask us to make the broccoli cheddar soup. So, we take off our seal lid, and I'll just show you how easily this comes off. And it's a big 1.75 liters, which is seven cups hot, or sorry, seven cups cold, and you can use up to six cups hot. So I just plop that on. This is not dishwasher safe, nor do you put it um, in your sudsy sink. It has a self-cleaning feature that once we're all finished, we just put some hot water in it, uh, just regular water, I guess, 
and drop some dish soap in and you turn it on to the wash setting and it cleans it all up for us. So the computer and the motor is in the bottom of the pitcher so we, uh, we can't submerge it. All right, broccoli cheddar soup comes in the cooking guide that comes with our cook blender. All of our appliances come with um, a guide and several recipes in the book. But I'll tell you, there are tons of recipes on my Pampered Chef website, and there are also several Facebook groups um, that people have created um, and share, like not just Pampered Chef consultants, but they share recipes and do's and don'ts and how-to's on a Facebook page. So that's exciting too. I belong to several for the air fryer, I belong to several of them for the cook blender and all the other appliances that I'm in love with. Everybody has a Facebook page. So we're going to get started. We start off with all raw ingredients. Nothing's been cooked and I just already cleaned everything, washed everything and um, put it in different containers just so that you don't have to wash. Watch me wash vegetables, try that one twice, um, and we can just plop it all in. So I'm going to wash my hands and let's get started. going to start with the broccoli cheddar soup as I mentioned before. Um, this recipe is six servings. Um, it says a five minute prep time. It takes me a little longer because I just gab all the way through it. Um, and with the cooking time it's 32 minutes. Um, I thought it gave me the calories and all that so I'll, because it's not listed I guess it's calorie free. Just take it as how good it is for you to come right from the raw vegetables and not the can. All right, so we're going to start with two and a half cups of the vegetable broth, and I forgot my measuring cup. search for my handy dandy pampered chef one just to keep you waiting so, all right two and a half cups of vegetable broth and they suggest low sodium and so do I but that's not a necessity Oh, this is why I like my pampered chef one. I just have to look down. Oof. All right, so, sorry about that, people. I like, now I can tell you why I like my pampered chef one so much better. When you turn it and you're pouring it in, all the measurements are on the inside and it's on a slant so you can see how much it's, uh, any, Filling. Catherine messaged you asking if you're doing the demo. Are we not on live? Yeah, we are. Oh. She just asked, did you want me to reply? Catherine wants to know if I'm still doing the live demo. I'm on Why Catherine can't see this. Hmm. Yeah, 
Karen, we're 10 minutes in. I don't understand why you can't get in. Uh, maybe I should take her. Sorry, people. Catherine loves this recipe, so... I can see you. Thank you, Helen. I just tagged Catherine. Hopefully she's just having a little bit of technical difficulties and it's not the rest of us. Helen can see us. Is there anyone else here that can see us? is here. Is it Catherine? Where's the wine? <laughs> Helen, you missed the beginning? Here's my wine. I cheers this all at the beginning. Well, we're waiting a few minutes for Catherine. Run and get yours. Maybe Catherine just needs to refresh. I'll give her the instructions to refresh. And refresh the group page. We're waiting for you. All right. Oh, there's Catherine. She's got her peach cold. I've got the chat box open. Peach cold stream. Oh, perfect. All right. Let's get back on to moving. All right. We have poured in our low sodium vegetable broth. Um, as I suggested, I like the low sodium. They suggest low sodium. Whatever floats your boat. If you don't want to put in low sodium, don't put in low sodium. And if you don't have vegetable broth, use chicken broth. All right, let's get a move on. And the next ingredient is half a teaspoon of salt. Everybody laughs at me that I re-pour my salt and don't measure it. We don't have to measure, that's like a lie of life. That's right. And now we're going to put in our six cups of the broccoli florets. For those that were a little late getting here, I've already mentioned that I've washed all of the vegetables um, before we went on live so that I wouldn't take up your time demonstrating how to wash vegetables. However, if we have some newbies out there who would like some tips and need to know how to wash vegetables, you can always contact me, private messenger, and I will help you with anything that I can. And if that includes washing vegetables, I'm on it. All right. I went overboard on getting the broccoli, but um, I like to add a little bit more once it, it goes down a bit. All right, now it's asking for medium onion, peeled and cut into chunks. I've already done that as well. It's peeled, it's cut into chunks. No fine mincing or anything like that and crying and, and uh, 
putting all that extra sodium in your soup from your tears. Now, I boobed. I thought I had tons of garlic bulbs here at home. And when I was at the grocery store, I walked right past the garlic because I knew I had tons at home. Well, guess what? I don't have tons at home. So, I just grabbed the little bit that we pre-crush. Like, I, when I find my garlic bulbs are starting to get uh, mushy and starting to grow green, I don't like to throw them out, but I'll uh, pre-crush uh, them and I just keep them in the jar in the fridge. So it asks for two garlic cloves peeled. So I'm just going to put some that I already crushed with our fantastic garlic press. But normally, just throw your garlic bulbs right in there. All right, so that's all that we're um, going to do for now. I am going to put the lid on. Everybody hear that? That indicates that our lids are on tight and uh, we aren't going to have a mess. I shouldn't say we have a mess because the, the blender will not run without the lid on securely. So with our cook blender, again as I mentioned before, I'll explain all the settings while we're whirring so that I don't uh, waste all your time. We have several different settings. We have the smoothie setting. Just because it's a cook blender doesn't mean that it has to be used for heat. Um, the fact that this blender is so huge and crushes up everything so well and from, from such a big piece, um, you can make your whole family smoothie at once. That is, if everybody likes the same kind. Um, or we have a smoothie adapter that uh, is sold separately and it comes with a smoothie cup so that you can make your uh, individual smoothie right in your cup. Alternative milk, I'll talk about that in a bit, but that's a great setting. Grind, you can make your own flour. Uh, heated wash that I discussed. We have the soup setting that we're going to use. We have heated puree. Oh, that's my dream one. We have sauce and we have jam. All right, so because we're making soup and the instructions are so easy, it'll say, soup, do this, cancel, press this button. I fancied up our recipe a bit, so I just wrote it in there so my brain doesn't forget. So we are going to turn it to soup and Press the wheel to start. The temperature will get um, quite high while it's going, it will keep track of the temperature and will let you know uh, when it reaches a cooking temperature. It doesn't start out as a hot, hot temperature. It also comes with a tamper and the tamper is used for when you need to push down foods from the side. Um, if you're making peanut butter out of real peanuts, um, it, it will stick to the side, so you have to use your tamper. The top comes off here and just push things down. Um, it comes with a strainer bag. Um, that's when you're using... Um, that's when you're using your um, cook blender to make alternative milks, almond milks, cashew milks. Um, it comes with a cleaning brush and a boil over guard. Um, and one thing I like about it is that uh, um, it comes with a noise reducing motor plug as well. And, whoops. All right, now that we're, we're 
we're going to talk in between the words and uh, talk about all the other things that the cooking guide uh, does. We have the smoothies, like I talked about. Um, put kale in your smoothies, peanut butter, ice cubes, um, broccolis, anything that you want to put in your smoothies. Um, it'll just pulse right down to absolutely nothing. Um, what else do we have here? The smoothie setting. All the recipes for different smoothies. Now the alternate milk setting that we talked about. I'm sorry, but the carton of almond milk that I like to get at the grocery store, anywhere from $4.59 to $6.59 for a carton of milk. And because my kids won't drink it, and it's only me, it doesn't last as long as I need it to. So, I was pleasantly surprised when I found out that the cook blender will make alternative milks. Um, it crushes, um, it has you soak your almonds or soak your cashews or soak your um, macadamia nuts, um, rice milk. It needs you to soak your ingredient um, overnight is best. And then when you put it in the blender on the alternate milk set, they, it's so much nicer and so much cheaper than um, buying the big carton and uh, you just use your straining bag to strain out all the extra membranes and, and mush from the peanuts and and uh, and such um, what else does it do the grind setting this is cool anybody who has somebody with uh, with weed allergies or um, is trying to stay away from gluten but still wants to bake. You can make flour out of cashew, you can make uh, flour out of almonds, but you can also make flour out of the wheat seeds. Um, if you're so inclined or you have the necessity that you have to um, make your own flour, this will grind it right down to powder. I like the idea that you can just chop up what you need, throw it in and forget it. You don't have to stand over the stove and stir. You don't have to worry. Yeah, there's the pancake recipe with the fresh, fresh grounded. Oh, I just got the look from my daughter. She likes pancakes. My, I have to say thank you to my daughter every time she videotapes for me. She is 16 years old and wants to go through and be a... Um, editor and what else do you want to do? Graphic design. Design. So she does all of my videos for me. She does the editing. She does the YouTube like we talked about before. She puts you, uh, puts everything where it needs to be and keeps me in line when I say um too many times I get the look. So we can make hummus, homemade hummus, um, oh, red pepper walnut dip and the soup setting. This one, everybody seems to love the broccoli because I think it's how amazing to see these raw broccoli florets cooked down to a, a steaming soup in so little time. And the fact that it's not coming out of a box or a can, so there's no added MSG, no added flavoring, no preservatives. And, uh, oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, it comes with, as I said, the recipes. <laughs> The recipes inside, beet soup, cauliflower soup, mushroom bisque, cheesy potato soup, sweet potato soup, tomato basil soup. We've tried most of them. Um, what I find in this book is it's very bland. It's made for everybody. Um, if you want it a little spicier or um, a little more flavoring, that's, I would suggest um, adding what you like. Butternut squash soup, our broccoli cheddar, and the heated puree setting. This is where I wish I had this beast when my children were small. How many times did you wish that what you were eating at your dinner table, you could feed your infants? This, this thing is so much better for 
children. I'm going to put in a little more broccoli. Now it'll stop because I'm taking the lid off. But could you imagine? Oh, look at the steam coming up as a, if I put in more broccoli. Could you imagine saving all of that extra money that we spend on jars of baby food or all that time mushing everything down? And to think that it's... Oh, sorry, I had it on backwards. And that tells us we're ready to continue. It should go on its own. Come on. We'll give it a second to see if it's going to go on its own. Um, could you imagine, though, just mushing up some broccoli, mushing up some sweet potatoes, put in some uh, cream corn, put in a little bit of something, and um, yes, Jake? What is it? Yes, go ahead. Okay, because I'm going to take some pictures. Okay. So, giving the option of grinding down some turkeys or some um, chicken in mashed potatoes or sweet potatoes or beets or uh, avocados or uh, anything, anything that uh, we could have made for our own. And in the catalog, you can purchase, um, they're called baby food containers. Wait till I tell you a great tip I have for those in a second. Um, but you can freeze them. You can refrigerate them. So you don't have to pull out the blender every night for supper. When you're making your dinner, make a little bit extra and pop it in. Pureed. Could you imagine? And not to take away from our older friends um, who have, um, have had teeth removed or jaw surgery. I think I have to... There we go. So have had jaw surgery or um, um, or just had uh, all their teeth removed or getting dentures or for stomach issues need to have pureed food. What a great idea. The other uh, thing it can do is sauces. Sauces and gravies. Um, hot cheese setting um, for nacho cheese, um, chicken or beef gravy, sausage gravy, Alfredo sauce, all these things that can be done, um, hollandaise sauce, um, desserts, you can uh, make up, um, as I said, it doesn't have to be on the heating setting. Um, there's a, a, sh a picture of the nacho cheese dip. Jams. Okay, how many of us have made homemade jam um, and had to sit and stir the strawberries and the raspberries or whatever and make sure they, you know, everything gets to where it needs to be? This took like 15 minutes to make our jam this year, uh, I guess in September. And we were like, uh, now what? Because usually it's a whole afternoon um, activity. And here we go. This is everybody's favorite. The custom setting. The custom setting. We can use this for strawberry daiquiris, pina coladas, um, all your fancy dancy drinks. Um, again, was that a beep? Does somebody want me? No. Um, uh, a peach mango cream dessert. Um, and... The tip I was saying about the baby food containers, they are excellent for when you're making up strawberry daiquiris, the mangoes, the pina coladas. You can store them in these containers and you can drink right out of those at the pool, at the, um, at the I was gonna say at the park. I guess you shouldn't take your margaritas to the park, but at the hockey game. Or the hockey game. Liv, you're giving away all our secrets. <laughs> Um, yeah, so they, you can use the baby food containers to use them to travel with your drinking. Uh, but not, not 
alcoholic, of course. That's that's our uh, that's how we'll get around that. Okay, so while this is going around and around and around, it's heated. It has heated up to 147 degrees now. And if you can see how mushed down that is. All right, I'm going to take this opportunity while we're spinning around to talk to you about our enrichables. The enrichables I call a mother's sneaky favorite. Um, or if you're just looking so, for some extra oomph and nutrition to your um, other things that you make, these are fantastic. The Enrichables, this one is kale and fiber, and it used to come in individual packs. They've now just changed the packaging, um, so now that they come in a plastic bag, and you can add as much as you want in, instead of half a bag and re-rolling it up or a whole packet. Um, it's fantastic for... This one is the pea protein, and we also now have a new vegetable uh, powder as well. It's fantastic to throw in your children's food if all that, all that you can get them to eat is ketchup. <laughs> throw it in the ketchup. If it's, um, all they want to eat is granola bars and you make granola bars, throw it in the granola bar mix. We have people that put this in the cupcake mix. It's a fantastic way and they're tasteless. You can't uh, taste them. Um, we put it in sauces, spaghetti sauces. Uh, I put it in lasagna. Um, my picky, picky 16-year-old eater doesn't realize half the things that I've added a little bit more nutrition. We made homemade uh, chicken fingers uh, in the air fryer and in the flour and breading. I hid some of this in it and she never knew. So it's one of those, one of those sneaky things you can do or be above board and and uh, tell your family hey i've made this so much better you can put it in pie dough you can put it in ground meat sauces drinks and smoothies they're great to put in your drinks and smoothies so if you need uh any more information on the enrichables just ask you can you can have a monthly subscription to them um if you, if you so desire, or you can just try them the once and, and purchase them when you're out and need more. Speaking of subscriptions, we kind of jumped on board with the other food subscription uh, companies. And what Pampered Chef has done is they send you uh, once a month, you can subscribe to Uh, getting a recipe sent to you and all the spices that need to go with it and um, the instructions that go with it on how to make it. Um, there's enough spices in, the, in it that you can make it more than once or keep the spices and use them um, again. And the, more, the longer you subscribe, the, the more... the more uh, price efficient it is for you. Um, again, that's a, another thing. It's also listed in the catalog, but I would love to talk to you about it if you so desire. I don't like to take up too much time with them because not everybody's interested in subscriptions. I want to talk to you about Roundup from the Heart. Doris Christopher, the founder of Pampered Chef, I should mention, I always like to mention this because I'm a Southpaw. Doris Christopher was left-handed also, and she made all of the Pampered Chef products so that they be, could be used by both left-hand and right-handed people. I think that's fantastic because as being a left-handed uh, person in a right-handed world, it's nice that I can pick up the same carrot peeler that my husband or boyfriend or partner or children pick up and not have to worry about cutting my fingers off. 
the Roundup from the Heart is something that Doris Christopher has always um, promoted. She, uh, she wanted to make sure that she was giving back, um, giving back to her community, giving back to her state, because she's American, giving back to the country. Um, what she did was develop the Roundup from the Heart program. Um, there are several ways that um, you can you can help Doris. What she does is the Roundup from the Heart program donates money to local food banks. Because Catherine is in Nova Scotia, I'll have to. I apologize, Catherine. I'm not certain you did tell me what little town you live in. If there is a If there is a food bank in your town, um, all of the proceeds from your party, um, Roundup from the Heart products, will go to your local uh, food bank. If you don't have one in your area, go to the next closest in your area. There are three possible ways that you can help with Roundup from the Heart. These are a set that are... I'm sorry, I thought somebody chimed in. These are a set that you can purchase and all profit from this set um, goes directly to the Roundup from the Heart program. Another way you can uh, donate is the subtotal on your purchase. You can round up to the nearest dollar. I always say, round up please. I don't know if you have the same commercials we do here, but there's a commercial now where the child in the back in the drive through says, round up please. So what it does is if your total of your set of your order is $10.50 and you click the roundup uh, box, it'll make your order $11. So 50 cent extra that you paid will go to the roundup from the heart program. It's not limited to the 50 cents. If you wanted to donate $5.50, you would just type in dollars and fifty cents and your total would be the fifteen dollars it's it's optional it is not something anyone has to participate in it's just an option that there that is there for you another the third option um, is if you are so inclined um, I like to mention other organizations as well if you would like to do a fundraising show for your local food bank, um, we can do a Roundup from the Heart uh, show uh, where the proceeds would be donated um, from Pamper Chef right to your food bank. That being said, we have different types of shows available. You can do a fundraising show for any organization that you would like. Um, instead of getting free products um, the way Catherine is tonight, um, she will... She will earn products um, and discounts um, from the sales from her show. I, I'm pretty sure everyone understands how that's going to work. Um, if not, I can talk about it a little bit more. Um, if you're interested in hosting, I will do everything I can to help you get free products and great discounts as well. Um, if Catherine has three people book a party, she will get a $50 cash, um, sorry, $50 credit towards um, towards uh, a Pampered Chef products and um, she gets rewards for every person who does book a party from her show um, in extra um, discounts and free products as well. If you were interested in doing a fundraiser, oh Liv, can we come in here and we can see if that's bubbling? Can everybody see how nice and bubbly that is? Not really. Not really. I can hear it. I don't know if everybody else can hear the bubbling. And we're up to 208 degrees. Um, and as, as we, just as I've been sitting here chatting with you. So, sorry, the next way um, you can have a show for any organization, a sports organization, a church organization, um, somebody who has been diagnosed with an illness um, and you want to... 
or had a fire or a, a flood or something and you want to help them, Pampered Chef will do a fundraiser for them as well um, and substitute um, a check to the organization um, for the rewards. Another thing you can do is uh, themed parties where we can do uh, baby showers, um, we can do wedding, um, wedding showers, re wedding registry, um, we can do um, grads that are off to college, uh, housewarming. Um, I have a couple uh, realtors that um, purchase their pampered chef for a thank you um, to go out to their to go out to their um, clients that have just purchased. So, if we have any questions, we've got a couple more minutes before we um, are finished with the, the heating cycle. I have the computer right beside me so that we can answer uh, in real time and like I said, Somebody asks a question and I'm six miles ahead if you rely on your phone to see the questions as you're doing the live. Have I bored everyone? Has everyone fallen asleep listening to the whirring? These are the Pampered Chef knife knives. Uh, they're fully forged from tip to handle and the spuds go right through, as you can see. And um, so if you're used to using a knife that wobbles here once in a while, you don't have to worry about the, um, the wobbling. Uh, we come in the, the, the chef's knife, um, right down to um, spare, a pairing size knife, and uh, steak knives. And I don't know if you can see it or not. We've got it all in the nice knife block that uh, I earned it all for free um, with Pampered Chef. Pampered Chef is so very good to their consultants as well as their customers. We always have promotions. This promotion um, for Guests, anyone who places an order of $100 um, gets a free gift. I believe it's pairing knives um, this month of May. Um, fantastic pairing knives. Um, it, you, 20 years ago when I used to sell Pampered Chef uh, the first time around, they were, they were most awesome. You could take a Roma tomato and cut it paper thin. They are fantastic. And I still have a couple from that long ago. Um, ooh, I've lost my train of, of thought. We can also check out the spices. We have a full line of spices and sauces. Um, these are just a few. The teriyaki sauce with honey and the raspberry habanero. Oh my, my, that is so fantastic with pork chops. New this uh, season is the rotisserie. I've used it on the chicken and it is fantastic. You're moving us all around there, Lou. And um, the seasoning salt, Olivia's loving it on her fresh made french fries. Um, Tex-Mex, the garlic. Um, oh, this one's cool. The all purpose dill. Um, it's great on fish, but also on fresh popcorn. If you sprinkle the uh, dill, um, or the, uh, a lot of them actually, the Tex-Mex, there's a few that are fantastic on popcorn. Um, we make our own fajita chips, I guess you call them. You take um, regular fajitas, uh, shells, and while they're raw, We cut them up with the um, 
the cooking scissors or we use the pizza roller and we cut them into triangles. So once in half the circle and then uh, quarters and then the quarters into eighths. Um, and then we throw them in the air fryer um, or we've done them um, in the oven as well. We also used to do them all the time in boiling olive oil, and, but now that we're trying to watch our waistline, i.e. I, me, the kids uh, prefer them in the grease, but I'm trying to uh, eat, have us all eat a little healthy. Maybe, maybe I'll sprinkle some of the enrichables on them. Um, anyways, you can th throw them, uh, spritz them with... Thanks, Liv. This is the Pampered Chef Spritzer. Um, you fill it, not fill, you put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom and you pump it up to get the air pressure inside and then you can just spray. And we put that on, um, spray it on the fajitas. If you're eating them plain, you don't need to spritz them. But if you're going to put a little bit of powder on them, that just helps the powder stick and infuse into them a bit. Um, so yeah, we just throw it in the air fryer for five minutes. Is that how long we did it? And uh, they crisp right up. Um, so what do we got here? All right, I'm going to do something I've done a couple times because you guys don't want to sit here for nine more minutes it tells me. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take the lid off. Can everybody see the steam coming out? Isn't that awesome? And because I put in a little bit more uh, broccoli than called for, I'm just going to add a little more liquid because it's looking a little thick, but you don't have to. It's just, I have picky kids. Olivia, did you want to come put in a pea protein? Mm -hmm. All right, Olivia, let's do my data. That's okay, though. bubbling up. Stop. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> oh, Vanna. Okay, let's put the lid on so it doesn't powder up again. <laughs> ah, there we go. So it's going to bubble up again and the powder's on the top so we don't want it to food all everywhere. Yeah. Yes, go wash your hands with you. Thank you for your help. So we stuck some pea protein in, probably don't need to, it probably has so much goodness and enrichments in it already. We don't have to worry about uh, extra, but Olivia likes to do that part, so I let her. All right, so I am going to I am going to Take the lid off just so it'll stop. I guess I could have done that for Olivia. <laughs> and we're going to add in our spinach and our cheese and our seasoning. These are your add-ins and it tells you in the recipe book when to add your add-ins. So I'm just going to cancel. Well, it won't let me cancel because the lid's off. It has eight minutes left in it. I'm okay with it not cooking for the last eight minutes. You can see how steamy it is. So now we're going to put in our fresh lost my train of thought here, our fresh spinach in the top. Olivia, 
Olivia, do you want to focus in on the top? Come on, come on, come on, over here, Pete. <laughs> all right, so we've pushed in all of that, and I'm just going to push it in a bit with the tamper. Don't really need to, but I want to make room for our cheese. Not grating my cheese, I am just popping it in. I probably could have left it in sticks, but just popping in the cheese. And I'm just going to tamper it down just a little bit. Don't need to, but I'm choosing to. And this is where I have spiced it up a bit. This is not in the recipe, but this is um, one of our favorites. So I add some rosemary herb seasoning. Mmm, that smells so good. Smell. <laughs> and bell pepper herb. This is also a rub, but I use it um, as a spice as well. Oh, that one smells good too. And we put the, the lid back on. And we cancel what we were doing and we use the pulse and that's just the add-on stuff that's your spinach your cheese oh you know what I did this the last time too this is another add-on that I add you can either add it now or you can add it um, when you're finished and um, put it all in on a on each bowl but um, there's only the three of us here tonight, so I'm going to put it in. What it is is the Parmesan Flakes. I can get these at Costco. They just give it a little bit more of a, a kick um, so that it's not just broccoli. All right, so we'll put this back on. Can't see the notches, I'm too short. Do -do 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 -do. There's the notches and you give it a turn. And then we press pulse. Fifteen seconds. Let it all settle a few minutes and then I do fifteen seconds more. seconds and we're just going to check it and oh see I took the lid off so it's giving me a warning. Can everybody see the steam coming out of that? That was uh, Catherine's favorite part I believe. So to get the blender off you just tilt it to the side and there is your broccoli soup. I'm going to Pour it into the bowl here so I can give you a quick demonstration of how to wash it and go ahead with any questions you have. Oh, this is Olivia's favorite. I can see her licking her lips now. Catherine commented. All right, Catherine, I will check you out here. It's really cool. Yes, yes, it is cool. Very cool. This is one of my 20 year old, more than 20, because my kid is 21 in July and I was pregnant with him when I stopped selling before. Um, so, I mean, I've been using it for 20 years. No staining, no chipping. And I'm just gonna make sure I get all of that goodness in here. And this is where, if I was presenting it, I would put um, 
maybe a sprinkle or two of the um, Parmesan flakes or garnish it up a bit with a, a cherry tomato or whatever you would like. Bye, bud. I'll be, no, I'll be back. Okay. I'm just going to the grocery store. Okay. You need anything? <laughs> Garlic <Okay>. bulbs. <laughs> Some? No, I'll get some the next time in there. Yeah. All right, so all I've just put in it is tap water, and we're gonna put in a little bit of dish soap. And where's my lid? Find my lid. I like to give this a rinse before I start. As I said before, this cannot go in, cannot be submerged in water nor the dishwasher because the motor and the computer chips are all in the base. The top part can. And heated wash. Move our soup over and turn our button to, oh, we need to cancel our that smells so, really good, by the way. Smells really good. My son says it smells really good. So that in itself is a bonus. Heated wash. And we press start. And there it goes. It'll heat up some more. It's already at 100 degrees. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this soup. It smells fantastic. Now, it's a, it's a thicker soup because I added more broccoli. If you want it a little bit thinner, add some more broth. Um, I don't know what to tell you, I like it thick. I'll see if anybody has any questions. Right. Well, we'll give this a few tumbles around and you can see how clean it comes out. And then I'll let you on your merry way. I enjoy uh, cooking for everyone and um, it's awesome when I get to demonstrate and then supper's already ready. So I just throw everything in the dishwasher and we can sit down to supper. Fantastic for um, lunch tomorrow too. Um, so nothing sticks to the blades. No, I will uh, show you in because it liquefies um, the, the, I shouldn't say that when you're doing peanut butter, of course peanut butter will stick to the blades um, But that's the consistency of Something that would stick to the blades once you scrape it all out um, and then do your your wash It does come clean. You don't have to worry about uh, getting in and scrubbing so I find the edge here um, doesn't clean as well as I'd like it to. So I do end up taking um, a wet rag and, and cleaning the top. And as I said, I throw this in my sudsy sink and, and wash it separately. But um, yes, it does come very, very clean. I, being the A-type personality that I am, I do it twice. Um, after I dump out all the dirty water if you will uh, I'll throw in um, throw it in again if it needs it good question can anybody else think of anything exciting they'd want to do with the pitcher with the blender cook blender it's just heating up the water before it uh, starts to spin that I stick within my time. Yeah, no one. Yep, I did. Catherine said something. Catherine, all right. I have two deer outside. Oh, that's so cool. 
That's so cool. Post a pic later if you can. I'll, uh, after we're finished here, I'll, I'll post this to the live. Um, I'll post the live to the show. But I'd love to see them. Is that a regular occurrence? Oh, come on, come on, come on. 136 degrees. Nothing goes fast when you want it to. Does anybody have any um, requests for something they'd like to see? If I have it here in my kitchen, I can give you a quick peek. washing we could be sitting at the table eating our dinner you know and not have to worry about coming out and having it dried on or stuck to the blender and having to scrub it later seconds left I'll show you the clean blades okay, it's telling us it's over I'll just dump it down this is really hot so be careful whoops sorry Piper have some soapy suds on the side but uh, yeah you can see your clean blades and like I said the soapy soapy the soap suds are broccoli covered so I'm, I will throw it in again but uh, that's all there is if nobody's has any questions or uh, wants to see anything else demonstrated I'd like to thank you for um, joining in on Catherine's party. Um, Catherine has been wonderful to work with, and I hope I can get her some uh, some free rewards and extra good discounts. Uh, if anybody else would like to invite me into their home via via the computer, um, I'd love to um, be introduced to all of your friends as well. As I said before. If you want to see some funny videos, uh, you can sub subscribe. See, Libby, I got it right. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, Allison's Amazing Crazy Kitchen. Um, you can visit my website. I will post that for you. Um, or visit my VIP 
uh, Facebook page, um, I can send you an invite to that as well. You need to, you need to turn that off. Oh, yeah, here I say don't get it all wet, and I soak it in water. Anyhow, take care and have a great evening. Where's my... Oh! <laughs> Cheers!